first laureate this evening in engineering and computer science is a senior professor at the Department of Chemical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru. He's an alumnus of IIT Madras and completed his PhD from Cornell University. But to tell you a little bit more about his work and to actually announce the prize, let me first introduce you to the jury chair for this category, Professor Pradeep Kosla. Professor Kosla is the chancellor at the University of California at San Diego in the USA. Among the several awards he has received is the Philip and Marsha Dowd Professorship at the Carnegie Mellon University. He's a member of the National Academy of Engineering, a fellow of the IEEE and of the American Association of Artificial Intelligence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Kosla. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here. Let me just start by saying, Professor Kumaran, congratulations. Uh, it's an extremely well-deserved honor, and you were picked to be honored by a jury of very eminent people that consisted of Dr. Rajesh Gupta from UC San Diego, uh, Dr. Arun Majumdar from Stanford University, uh, Dr. Balakrishnan from IIC Bangalore, and Dr. Bhakta Rath from the Naval Research Lab. And the jury, after looking at your work, unanimously decided that you were the honoree for this year. And it was very difficult to look at the complex work you had done and to succinctly put it in 30 or 40 words. So let me read the citation that the jury came up with. So the jury said that Professor V. Kumaran is the honoree for the Infosys Prize 2016 for Engineering and Computer Science for his seminal work in complex fluids and complex flows especially in transition and turbulence in softball tubes and channels. His work is of high practical utility in cardiovascular and pulmonary health. Kumaran's work is characterized by high quality applied mathematics, theoretical physics, combined with innovative experiments and simulation. And it has been translated into innovative technologies for lab on a chip devices for point of care diagnostics. So for you mere mortals who are just sitting there wondering what does this guy do for a living? Well, let me tell you. So if you think about a uh, lab on a chip, which is if you think about a drop of blood that could be then used to run 50 different tests, uh, various blood tests, instead of pu pulling out multiple tubes of blood, there would be a very small chip on which you would put this drop of blood, and this drop of blood would have to then circulate through multiple channels. Well, it turns out that circulation is not the same as water flowing through your pipes. Uh, it turns out the blood flowing through your arteries is also a very complex uh, flow mechanism. So Professor Kumaran and his students basically have pioneered this whole area of microfluidic devices and, the, and modeling of fluids in microfluidic devices. So congratulations one more time. Because of you, we'll have better health at some point. So thank you. Well, here is a short video that we recorded with Professor Kumaran talking about his work. In high school, we learned that all materials are made of atoms, molecules, and so on. But that is something that we never really appreciate at that stage. I got into engineering, and uh, I sort of found that uh, the things that we see around us we can actually use mathematics to predict what will happen. And what we predict actually happens in practice. And that was something that I found very fascinating. Now we have reached a stage in our scientific advance where we can actually model things at the molecular level and that has consequences at the large scale. And the fact that we're able to do this has important implications for our being able to design materials. My name is V. Kumaran, and I try to understand why fluids flow the way that they do. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming on stage Professor V. Kumaran. May I request Mr. Srinath Bhatni, the anchor trustee for this category, to join us. May I request our chief guest, Dr. Ramakrishnan, to present the Infosys Prize in Engineering and Computer Science to Professor V. Kumaran.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramakrishnan. Thank you, Mr. Bhatni. Uh, Professor Kumran, a few words. Uh, I'd first like to thank the Infosys Foundation for conferring this award on me. It is a deep honor, and uh, I would like to thank the foundation and especially the trustees for their remarkable generosity and foresight in instituting this award and for all the other activities towards promoting science and scientific research in this country. I'd like to thank the jury for recognizing our work and especially the distinguished chairman of the jury for his kind words. As scientists, our greatest aspiration is recognition from our peers. And I'm deeply humbled by this recognition from a jury of such distinguished scientists and engineers. Uh, throughout my career, I have uh, been benefited from very distinguished uh, mentors and well-wishers. Despite their stature, they were always available for advice, encouragement, and for guidance. And uh, where I have reached is primarily because of the paths that they opened up for me. The work that was done is the work of many people, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, support staff, and importantly, students. Uh, I was always struck by the fact that uh, outstanding students seemed to appear when there were challenging tasks to be done. And they managed to do it even when I was not confident. And uh, supporting staff often went well beyond their call of duty and accomplished difficult things uh, in environments that were not ideal. Uh, this award really belongs to all of them. And I'd like to thank my family. Uh, they had their ambitions for me, but never any expectations. They were always happy, uh, uh, happier than me at whenever successes came my way. Uh, never disheartened when things did not work out. And it is almost as if they willed things to happen and things happened. And for that, I'm always grateful. And I would like to thank you all for coming for this award function. Thank you.